Hi and welcome to this episode of Animals in Ames. My name is Ron Edwards. I'm the Animal Control Supervisor here for the Ames Animal Shelter and Animal Services. Today I have with me the first cat that you're going to see is Smiles. Smiles actually uh, came to us from the public library, the new construction that's happening at the library. He was actually trapped in a humane trap. Um, I have been running loose probably for quite a while. He is declawed in the front. Um, and he is neutered. But unfortunately, the owners didn't have any identification on Smiles. Um, didn't have a microchip uh, or anything. So we're still working with Smiles. He's a very, very loving cat. We're looking for the owner, but he'll also be available for adoption. Um, because he is a long-haired cat, he needs a lot of brushing. And you can kind of see here that he's got some clumps of hair that have gathered together. Um, we don't know how long he was out running loose but he was kind of living on scraps in the library with the construction workers there and they cared enough to give us a call and have us come down there and put a trap um, out there for Smiles and uh, because he was so hungry he went right in the trap and we got him uh, just after only one day of trying to capture him. So now Smiles is here with us and uh, getting to know us and we're getting to know him and we're going to be looking for that, uh, that best home for him that we can find. Uh, again, the owners uh, didn't have any identification, uh, didn't have a microchip on Smiles, um, but we are still holding him to give time for the owners to claim him. Um, then he will be available for adoption very soon here at the Ames Animal Shelter. Uh, very, very loving cat, kind of talkative, a um, little camera shy right now maybe, but uh, just a really sweet cat. Um, definitely want to make sure that Smiles stays um, in an indoor home only. He doesn't have his front claws. So it's extremely important that, that, uh, that Smiles never goes outside um, where he's going to be nice and warm and uh, be with a family that's going to love him and give him all the attention that he deserves. So come on down and meet Smiles. And the second cat that we're showcasing today is Kit Kat. Uh, Kit Kat's about five months old, uh, kind of a domestic short hair. Um, she hasn't been spayed yet, but she will be spayed before she gets adopted. Um, really sweet nature kitten. Um, again, we always stress the importance of when you adopt a cat that we want them to be indoor homes. Um, she has all of her claws and we like to her to stay that way. Um, five months old. She was actually originally adopted um, as a younger kitten um, and was returned because the family had some allergies. So that's always something to think about, you know, if you're considering adopting a cat, you know, does the cat, um, is it gonna fit into your lifestyle? Um, are there members of the family that have allergies? Um, all things you need to consider. Will you be able to keep the cat indoors? Because that's extremely important. It's not safe for them to be outdoors. So the same things to think about before you consider adopting a pet. Um, it is a lifelong commitment, just as, as uh, she said here. Um, oh, I know. Um, but a real sweet kitten looking for a good home um, would probably do well with kids. Kittens always adjust well with kids. Uh, but really sweet. A little talkative here. Um, uh, but seems to be a really sweet kitten. Um, so come on down and take a look uh, at Kit Kat. Five months old, ready to be adopted today. Hi, and this, uh, this guy right here with a lot of energy is Rocket. Uh, great name we picked out for him. Um, he is a Jack Russell Terrier uh, mix, uh, which is also a Parsons Terrier mix. Um, he has a lot of energy as these breeds do. It's not a breed for everybody, so we really want people to learn more about the breed before they consider adopting a dog like Rocket. Um, he's a little talkative right now. He's excited about being uh, here in the cat room. Um, we think he's about four or five years old. Uh, came into us as a stray. Gives good kisses. Uh, didn't have any identification. So no collar, uh, no microchip. Um, he uh, was already neutered, but uh, unfortunately the owners didn't have identification on him. So we tried to find the owners, uh, were unsuccessful. Um, so now Rocket's here available for adoption. Uh, we think around five years old, um, and he's already neutered, ready to go. So it'd be a great idea to get a collar on Rocket, get a microchip, uh, make sure he has some identification. But we think Rocket would make a great uh, addition to a home. So come on down and meet Rocket today.
Hi, and this is Titan. I'll have to speak a little louder because he's, uh, he's panting here. Um, really excited to be here at the shelter. Um, he came into us as a stray, and um, unfortunately the information that we had on his caller was not uh, current. The phone numbers were disconnected. So we are looking for Titan's uh, owners uh, to come forward. If the owners don't come forward, then we're definitely going to be looking for a good home for Titan. Um, he is an adult. He's an older dog. Um, we're guessing probably somewhere around five or six. Um, he has not been neutered yet, so he definitely needs to be neutered. Uh, it's never too late to have that done. But seems like a really sweet dog. He needs to learn a little bit not to pull his heart on the leash. Um, but as long as somebody is walking him that knows what they're doing, they should be able to easily handle him. Um, just a very, very sweet dog. Uh, when he greets you, he wiggles his entire body. Um, and he's just really happy to be here today and wants to learn all about the cat room. So come on down and meet Titan um, here at the Ames Animal Shelter. Thank you for watching this episode of Animals and Ames. Remember that that's just a sampling of the animals that we have available here for adoption uh, at the Ames Animal Shelter. Uh, remember to like us on Facebook and keep a look on our website. Um, we update pictures all the time when new animals are coming in. So look at the uh, cityofames.org uh, slash animal shelter and you can see the Ames animals that are available here for adoption. Um, wanted to mention as we get really into the season, um, we're going to start having a lot more kittens um, probably in the next few months. It's what we call kitten season. Um, so you want to make sure if you are looking for a kitten to go down to the Ames Animal Shelter. Um, we'll have a lot more. We get in almost twice as many cats as we do dogs here at the shelter. Um, we're making some great improvements to the cats. I um, want to thank all of our donors who donated new cat beds to us. On March 29th, we're going to have new cat cages that are almost twice the size of some of the cages that we have our cats in right now. So it's really exciting times here for the cats and our dogs here at the shelter too. We're going to make improvements in their area as well. So come on down to the Ames Animal Shelter and see what we're doing. Thank you.